This is going to be great. Jericho's music's hit. Is he going to take him from behind? That sounded a lot more sexual than I thought it would. Chris Jericho has him in his sights. I think Jericho's going to hit the code breaker. Boom! His name is Argyle Zero. What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero back again with another episode of WWE 2K18 My Career Mode. Thank you for joining me as always. Now, we're still continuing on as Mr. Money in the Bank. We're counting down the days until we are able to cash it in. And Triple H, only an episode or two ago, turned around and told us he'd rather see us cash it in on the United States or Intercontinental Championships. We came out, flipped the script, and he is not impressed with us one little bit. But before we start, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, show your support, get on board the God Zero Nation if you haven't already by hitting subscribe. But we are kicking off with SmackDown Live August Week 2 2019 action. Hopefully we can get some good stuff going on. I mean, AJ Styles, he's been jumped to the last few episodes post-match. We're trying to get our stance within the WWE known that we are cashing in that Money in the Bank briefcase against the Phenomenal One, and we are not wasting it at all. When we do cash it in, we are becoming champion. That's the only... That's the only outcome. It's the only way to go about it. Don't ever cash in on a lower-level title that you can win on your own merit. That's just my opinion. But here we go. Backstage, August 2019, Week 2, SmackDown Live. Who we got back here? We got Victor hanging around back here. We got Big E Langston hanging back here. Good old New Day. I'm hoping they improve on this my career mode with 2K19 later this year. I'm very keen to play that. You better believe 2K19 is going to be coming to the channel in more ways than one this time around as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Daniel Bryan's probably going to say I remind him of a young bearded goat. You know, you remind me, yeah, you remind me of somebody that doesn't have more than one line in this game, Daniel Bryan. That's what you remind me of. I'm going to talk here. Is this Jay? It's Jimmy. That mouth of yours, well, mate, that mouth of mine gets me into trouble on a daily basis. But the difference between you and me, I can back my mouth up, is what I'm saying. So we're going to speak to Todd Mullen, but we haven't really taken the chance to run around backstage properly the last few episodes, so no one up here. We'll go talk to Todd. I wanted to go trash talk a little bit to Triple H, considering he wanted to get in my face in the last episode, but that's fine. View the match card right here. Let's see. Braun Strowman is opening. We're not on the card. We are not on the card, so that to me is going to spell maybe a promo this week. All right, Todd. What you thinking, man? Mike again tonight? A piece of me. Glad you made it mostly alive. Safe to say you've earned some rest. Score 100 on this promo. Well, don't mind if I do. That's one of the best things Cole Valentine is good at in this company. He's uh, pipe bombing and trash talking on that mic. You better believe that. And here he comes, Kel Valentine, mic in hand, ready to drop some home truths. Who's going to be in his sights this week? We did in a promo last week, apparently, tell Todd Bullock we're going to come out and challenge the United States champion, uh, which is uh, Kevin Owens. So I'm curious to see what goes down here. I'm sure the WWE Universe is dying to know what's going on. There's one fact that's clear lately. Pretty soon I'm going to be strutting around as the top guy around here. Universal or WWE Champion? Who knows? Details, details. Right now I think that's the kind of thing is a title and nothing else. I want to be on top. Whatever it is, wherever it is, whoever that topples, that's for me. Oh boy, here he comes. Here he comes, Kevin Owens himself. He does not look pleased at all. Why, why does he look upset? Why is he even coming out? I've got talking about him. 
I was addressing the champion, AJ Styles, Mr. Owens. What are you doing out here, ruining my moment? I had a we would start He's not way. impressed. Have a look at oh, yeah, him. Actually, speaking of Kevin Owens, let me know in the comment section below, guys. WrestleMania is only two weeks away. Well, actually, a little over a week away. And we've got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Let me know who you think is going to win that tag team matchup. I'm backing Daniel Bryan. They're not going to make him lose on his in-ring, pretty much, debut back since uh, being medically cleared. But what's Owens going to say here? What have you got for me, big man? Disrespectful. That's the word pounding in my brain since last week. Utterly disrespectful. I was honestly going to give you a pass on it. Punk don't know what he's talking about, I thought. And now I'm backstage hearing you completely overlook me as a threat. Now hear this. You and me. SummerSlam. Oh, he's laying down a challenge. Is it for that United States Championship? Here we go. You can challenge me, that's cool, but I'm not sure you managed to grab the attention of my fans yet. See, they don't want me to fight just anyone. They have certain refined tastes. Hard to back to grilled fish. And you've had sushi, right? They would only want me to dive into something extra special. I'd rather steak over sushi any day. I admit you'd impressed me early on. The way you rose through the ranks, it was like you were the anointed one. But now that you're one foot in, you're not showing any deference to your betters. I've been at this a hell of a lot longer than you. You think you can come in and take everyone so easily? I know I can take everybody so easily. That's why I'm out here dropping these bombs. Mr. Owens. How are we going to respond? Here we go. I've probably said this before, but let me be crystal clear. Either way... I hate it when people skulk around and work in the shadows. I speak plainly, therefore I expect everyone to be treating me with that same courtesy. I'm a simple man. You deal with me straight, or don't bother dealing with me at all. You got it, Mr. Owens? You come at me, or you just stay backstage? Ooh, I apologize if I'm not making myself clear, Mr. Money in the Bank. You know that tiny briefcase you covet? Fact is, that is a golden ticket for any contender, and you were looking at one, man. I'm worth that as much as anyone else, yet you're going to trash talk me like I'm nothing? You're the nothing here. Owens, I'm not trash talking you as a person, I'm just saying, I'm not cashing it in on your rubbish title. I'm taking it for the big title. Don't let it go to your head, okay? But I have compliment for you. We can all agree that you can live up to the name Superstar. It's true you do. With that in mind, I understand your quality. We all know that what you can be capable of when you put your mind to it. So if you bring your A-game, Kevin Owens, you got our attention. Dude, I should not even have to come out and tell you the obvious. I earned my title. That has to mean something. You can't roll past and pretend I don't even exist. And that's why I decided to storm out here. I am here. I am here, he says. And this is what we are going to respond with. What are we going to respond with? That's right, a real challenge. You see, the WWE Universe might claim to like a route, a real lopsided stomping, but that isn't being entirely genuine. If we look past the distracting glitz and bloody-mindedness, they like what they really want. They want a real challenge. I am definitely offering you this, and I hope you'd reciprocate what I am offering you, Mr. Owens. Oh, yeah. Here we go. No Tell you what, promise me you're going to come after me with your all. See me as your bitter rival if you have to. Do whatever sorts of visualization you need to. I encourage it. But I want your charging down that ramp like a bat out of hell. If you can do that, we can play. And Kevin Owens, that's going to be the day I take your championship. Mic drop. Colt Valentine has just done what he needed to do. It wasn't the best promo. We only needed to score 100. We got 145, and that is actually pretty average considering Colt can drop some, you know, close to 300 promos. But I'll take it. Mr. Owens was just left in a heap of his own crap. Wallow in that for a little bit, Kevin Owens.
So he's a little bit upset that I'm not respecting his title as much. Just in my personal opinion, if you win the money in the bank, you're always going to try and cash that in on the main title. You're not going to win money in the bank and then grab a tag team partner and go for the tag titles or go for the United States Championship. It's the golden ticket that gets you to the big time. That's what the briefcase means, and that's what I'm using it for. Todd, please back me up here. Tell me what you have to say. I hope it's something positive. Well, no lie, but I wouldn't think it'd be that easy. You can trust me. After my time here, I know how to push people's buttons. And that's all you need to know, Todd. I am the button pusher. I push the buttons around here. Well, Colt Valentine, not doing himself any favours, doesn't make friends that easy. We do have Chris Jericho, but once again, that seems to be put on the back foot. Got Xavier Woods and Van Dango kicking around back. But I think we're going to send Jeeves to get our car. Excuse me, Jeeves. You can get my car right now. I'm ready to go. Let's get out of here. Look at the way Sasha Banks was seductively looking at me in the background. But yeah, just... Obviously, with the money in the bank with this game, it it's locked into a kind of cinematic storyline. Otherwise, they would have already given me the option to use it. So, I really do hope the game doesn't force us to use that money in the bank briefcase against Kevin Owens or the Intercontinental Champion, because that would be just a waste. And I don't think the game developers at 2K would have wasted an opportunity like that. I really don't think they would have. August 2019, Week 3, SmackDown Live. Chris Jericho backstage. Beginning to sound like you could use some help. Well, you are my partner, Chris Jericho, so I'd appreciate it. You offering? Sure, wouldn't be mentioning it otherwise. Happy to have your help. Don't screw up or else hard to trust your ambitions. Chris Jericho's my tag partner. Great to work with you. Same here, buddy. Looking forward to this. I know you have my back. From here on out, I'll need you to interject yourself in such a way that will help me get that title. You win, we all win. No problem. Hey, you always get what you want, you know. And we're a team, right? Of course, Chris Jericho. It's you and me, brother. Every day of the week. We're a team. You and me, brother. That's the spirit, brother. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's get out there and do this. Absolutely time to blossom this bromance. People are about to see the cult of Jericho is nothing to be messed with. And it looks like he's going to try and help me get that United States Championship. That's what I'm talking about. Get some gold around this guy's waist. It's about time. Todd, please tell me I've got a match with Kevin Owens because I would love to get that championship right now. So it's the talk that the higher-ups are liking themselves. This rivalry... We want to build some hype around it. Hype sells. I like that. Simply put, they booked you tonight in a non-title match against your opponent from SummerSlam. Things are heating up. No doubt exactly as you planned, my man. Shouldn't keep the people waiting. Let's make some noise. We're going to make some noise up in here, Todd. You better bring your earmuffs. It's about to get loud. Here we go, SmackDown Live. Colt Valentine, the gold standard... Getting ready to make his way down to the ring. Might be about time we start changing up the uh, merchandise, I think. We got the merchandise out because of the tag team we set up with Chris Jericho, but we haven't been having too many tag team matches or the tag team title run, so it might be time for Colt Valentine to start rebranding as a solo competitor. We're still going to have Jericho in our corner. We're still the Colt of Jericho. We're still a tag team. But I don't think there's no harm in getting out some solo merch and starting to move ourselves forward as well. But we get to take on Kevin Owens' one-on-one -on -one action. Only weeks away from SummerSlam. Where hopefully we'll take that title. We'll take that US title, no problem whatsoever. But here he comes. United States Champion Kevin Owens. I really feel like he's being underutilized in WWE right now. Like this whole 
feud they have going with Shane McMahon costing him opportunities and all that. Like, I understand it culminated in bringing Daniel Bryan back into the fold, but oh, it should always be. Kevin Owens, in my mind, is one of the top dogs in the company and should always be within some sort of title contention, not having these these long droning stories like if he's going to have a storyline with somebody perfectly fine but it's just the same old storyline again and again and they've just recycled this whole Shane McMahon taking away opportunities and costing him this and costing him that just I personally feel Kevin Owens deserves better let me know in the comment section below what you guys think but we're about to get this match underway Kevin Owens looks fired up and ready to go Little does he know, Colt Valentine, he was born ready. Let's go, Mr. Owens. We'll take the legs out early. Thank you very much. And I think it's about time we threw this guy out of the ring and started taking it to the outside. Let's do it. And we've got a cinematic. What the hell's going on here? Okay, so I've been knocked down. Jericho's music's hit. Is he going to take him from behind? That sounded a lot more sexual than I thought it would. I think Jericho's going to hit the code breaker. Boom! There it is, Jericho getting it done. This is why you need to have eyes at the back of your head, Kevin Owens. I told you, you need to be bringing your A game. Chris Jericho injecting himself into the match and making... Well, not just my voice, but making our collective intentions known. We're going to take over this company. And not Kevin Owens, not AJ Styles, not even the authority is going to stop us because we're on the up. And you can't keep a good man down. A wise man once told me. Let's see what Toddy has to say about that. I bet your Toddy's creaming in his pants about that. All right, Todd, how much did you enjoy it? How much did you enjoy it, Mr. Todd? I think you got him in the palm of your hand right now. That's exactly where I wanted him. However, I wanted him under my heel. That's probably a good answer right there. Done. And here I was trying to get him under my heel. Give it time, man. Give it time. You know what would be good right now? A cold drink. And no doubt. Phew, no doubt about that. No, I think... You know who's enjoyed spinning hype like the very strings of fate? Mr. McMahon. He likes spinning hype, Mr. McMahon. I'm going to go with Mr. McMahon. Sounds like Mr. McMahon's morning, afternoon, and night. Oh man, that is no lie, but hey, I don't mean him. I've got to believe Renee would love a sit down and chat. Well, hmm, do more than sit down with Renee Young. I'll tell you what. Just don't tell Dean Ambrose I said that. So it looks like uh, we're going to go take this fight to... Renee Young for a little bit of a backstage interview before we wrap things up here. Hasn't been that big of an episode of action. Like, we've had a promo, then a cinematic, so it hasn't been that big of an episode. I really hope this is not the end. Hopefully something good happens here. I actually wouldn't mind a bit of a backstage brawl if Kevin Owens feels so inclined. But let's see what Renee Young has for me. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. After handily winning money in the bank, you've been lighting fires all over the place. Do you feel like you have the upper hand going into SummerSlam? Here we go. Absolutely. This is going to be a complete shutdown. Renee, that is absolutely correct. Everything is on my side right now, and I intend to be like a tidal wave. I will submerge and consume. Piss off, Kevin Owens. You're welcome. The fans deserve to see more moments of excitement like this. They deserve to see surprise attacks. That's what the WWE is all about. Don't trust anybody. Yeah, well, you know what, Kevin Owens? Better keep your eyes open because uh, you interrupt Cole Valentine during a uh, during a backstage press and um, you're in a lot of trouble. Talk to us about tonight's match. Was there a turning point that led to your victory? Immortal versus Immortal. Disparity of training the WWE Universe. Resilience. Immortal versus an Immortal? Now we'll go with Resilience here. And you know what's resilient about this, Kevin? 
Bang! That's what. That's why you need resilience. You got to keep your eyes open, Kevin. You want to come take me on backstage? This is how it goes down. Get off me, Kevin. If you know what's good for you, Kev. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. This is a way to end an episode and get some action going up in here. Do we have any weapons about here? I know there's a chair around here somewhere. Oh, Kevin. Stay down there for a second, please, mate. I'm trying to... Yeah, that's right. Get around me. Come on, Kev. Get out of here. I'm trying to get a chair. You look like you need to have a sit down. Mr. Owens, thank you very much. Love the backstage rules. Something that I think can be improved a little bit moving into 2K19. Like, it's it's a great little aspect having the whole... Being able to get jumped backstage and everything else. I think there's... They should add a couple more areas. Maybe make things a lot more... Um, interactable. Like, being able to maybe... Grab some of these chests that are up here and throw them and stuff like that. Just... Just little things, but I think that just comes down to more personal opinion than anything else. Oh, Kevin. You're a little bit sore, Kev. Come on, Kevin. How do I put him through this table? I'd love to put him through this table right now. I can't pick up this ladder anymore. Get back down, Kevin. I'm going to have to come back and get this chair. Get around me, WWE Universe. You know you love it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, y'all thought he was going to get me. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get some moves going up in here. Jawbreaker. we got a signature up our sleeve. He can't block it. It might be time to break Owen's heart. Here goes the heartbreaker. A mammoth slam right there, guys. What a charge finisher here. Is this it for Kevin Owens? Bang! No, it's not. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Some might recognize that as black mass. Another direct hit with that chair. It is not black mass, like ladies and gentlemen. Good old fashioned chair shots. That is the Valentine effect. That's what I'm calling it. We're going with the Valentine effect. Kevin Owens is fighting back. Drop kick floors Owens. We shouldn't be far off from finning this, finishing this, finning this. God damn it! Here we go, DDT. Boom. What's wrong, Kevin? What's wrong, Kevin? Look a bit sore, Kevin. Got another signature up our sleeve here. It looks like a twisted heap. I think this is it for Kevin. I think he's just learnt his lesson. Do not interfere with Valentine doing an interview backstage. And do not try to start a war that you cannot finish. Get up. There we go. The Valentine effect again. But he might be going for another one here. Another Valentine effect, and he is down. Colt Valentine wraps it up. That's what I'm talking about. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for joining me, as always. Smash that thumbs up button to show your support. Get on board the God Zero Nation if you haven't already by hitting subscribe. Social media links down below. Hit me up on those. Notification bell. Make sure it's hit so you're notified every time a new video comes out or I go live. But that's it from me. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.